Welcome to this data cap demonstration of Taskmaster APT, our accounts payable technology solution for invoice automation. The sequence of the demonstration is as follows. First, we will perform what we call a virtual scan, that is to bring in previously scanned invoices into Taskmaster to create a batch of invoices. Secondly, we will begin to process those invoices, performing operations such as image cleanup, that is things like de-skewing and de-speckling, the creation of Taskmaster fingerprints, which are used to identify invoices, and validations. The third step will display the images of the invoice and of the extracted data to what we call a verify operator so that they could verify that the data is correct. And the last step is to export the data from Taskmaster into SharePoint, sending SharePoint both the images and the necessary indexes. Here we are in Taskmaster APT. The view that you see is completely configurable. I have logged on as an administrator. Other types of operators are those who run the scanner, and they may just be seeing the scan interface. A person is performing verify operations, that is again, looking at the invoice images and verifying that the data is correct, and they may just see the verify interface. And then somebody like me, who's an administrator, who gets to see things like this job monitor window, which gives me a real-time view of the different batches of invoices that I'm processing or had processed, and this operations window where we can perform different operations. So I'm going to begin this demonstration by scanning some documents. Let's take a look at the images of the invoices that we will process with Taskmaster. These images reside in this particular folder, and I will open one up, and we see that it is a standard-looking invoice, and we have five of them. Here's our second invoice. Here's our third invoice, all a little bit different. Here's our fourth invoice. Now we have a separator sheet. The way that we have arranged this demonstration is that the single page invoices appear before the separator sheet, and multi page invoices, such as this one, appear after the separator sheet. So we have a total of five different invoices, one being two pages. Okay. Let's now scan those invoices. I'll just double click in the scan icon and pick our demonstration job to start. Taskmaster has now brought these invoices in as a batch and we are going to finish this and begin to process that batch of invoices. Now in the job monitor window we can see that there's a new record It has a particular batch ID which is completely configurable and it tells us the job and the task to run. Wool Runner is the, is the background task that performs most of the work in Taskmaster. We're going to start it and what it is doing for us at this time is cleaning up those images, doing things like removing extra lines, de-skewing them, de-speckling them, and then it is going to create what we call a fingerprint. And a fingerprint is Taskmaster's way of identifying an invoice or a, any document and identifying the different index locations on that document. I'll talk more about that later. Now that Rule Runner is completing its work, we will now be moving on to the next task to perform. Here we are. And we see the next task is our verification step, where we get to be a verify person. Here we see the verification screen. Again, this is completely customizable. The user gets a view of the image, the invoice image on the right, and then the left hand side in the top of the screen we see the different header fields and below that we see the first line item field. Now if I were using multiple monitors I could place the image on one, on one monitor and look at the different fields and the data on a separate monitor. First thing I'd like to point out is that if I click in a field like this remit and zip it highlights where that data came from on the image so that the operator can very easily see if it's correct or not. We also provide above the index field itself what we call a snippet. This is an enlarged area of the index image and again it's, it's, it's placed there to make it easy for the operator and quick for the operator to identify if the data is correct. One other thing that we do is color code the fields. As you can see all these fields are in green. Green indicates two things. One, there's been no OCR errors two, there's been no validation errors. So for the operator, this looks like a very good invoice. I'm going to click and go to the next invoice. 
we've set it up so that an error occurs, and it says validation failed. Line item four, error in line total. Do you want to go to the next document? Nope. We have to make a correction here. Taskmaster APT has found that a quantity was missing. We've set up a demonstration so it wasn't obtained correctly. And we can either type it in here, or we can use a nice little feature of Taskmaster APT called Viewing Details, which displays all the detail lines in a spreadsheet-like editor and also shows us the a snippet of the invoice image and exactly and it scrolls uh, showing us exactly what data we're working with. So we can see here that we need to make a correction and change this quantity over here to one and it can be done. This detailed line editor can do things such as recalculate also. That is, if I've got the line total and I've got the price, I can figure out the quantity. We could have done that. Okay, we're done with that. Notice these fields were highlighted in magenta or red, which indicated there was an error. And we are done with this, so let's move on to the next invoice. Here's our second invoice, and I know that there's no errors in this invoice. This invoice is known to Taskmaster APT, as was the previous one, via the fingerprint capability, and we were able to identify the vendor and extract the vendor number from a table, and also all the different fields that we need based on the locations of the data on this particular invoice. Moving on to the next invoice, we see two fields with questionable data. One is in red, which is an error, and it's a date field, and this is an incorrect date. 2007 was not a leap year, so we're just going to correct this to 228. And down here in the item description field, we see it's highlighted in yellow, which indicates an OCR error. OCR engines return a confidence for each and every character that they process. And the confidence is generally 0 through 9, 9 being high confidence and 0 being low. And you can set the threshold for warning. So this data here, the FFI, came up as low confidence, which might mean less than 7. But we can see that it's absolutely correct. So the operator can move on to the next invoice. Here we see the JWS of Colorado invoice. And again, all of our fields are showing as green, which means no errors, no validation errors, no OCR errors. It is possible to configure Taskmaster APT to not display these invoices to the Verify operator if everything is correct. We move to the next invoice. Here we see an example of an invoice which we have not processed before. I am now going to define this invoice to Taskmaster APT, which is much like setting up a template for it. But it's extremely easy to do. It does not require an administrator. It does not require that it be set up ahead of time. I'm going to begin by typing in the first few characters of the vendor name and performing a lookup into the vendor name table, which is a feature of Taskmaster APT. And we find that Stuart is a valid vendor in the table, so we can select it, double-click it, and bring back the vendor number and other information such as vendor zip code, the remittance zip code. Now, on the second page here, we can find one of the fields that we need, which is the shipping. We don't have tax, and that's okay, it's not required. The purchase order number is on the first page. Now, notice something. As I click in the PO number field, which highlights it, I can mouse over onto the invoice and mouse over the actual PO number value, and it turns into yellow. This we refer to as click and key, a unique feature of Taskmaster APT. And I'm just going to click on it and bring it over. And we can do this for all our fields that we, need, that we need to define. That's all the fields here on the header. But what about these line items down here? We've got two pages worth. Very easy. I'm going to click on Add a Line Item. And then what I'm going to do is train Taskmaster APT on where to find the line items. So I will click on the item ID, and I will mouse over and click on the first line's item ID, which is this item number. And notice it brought over the snippet and the value, of course. I will now click in the quantity field and mouse over the quantity, and it brought over the quantity, the item description field. Now, this isn't a single uh, value. It's a string. So I can just draw a box around 
where I want Taskmaster APT to find this information. And there, click again. Now for price, again, click in the price field, click on price, line total, click in the line total field, click on line total. Now I've defined the first line. I can tell Taskmaster APT to find all the details for the rest of the detail lines. Now notice the line item counter has moved up to 23. It's found 23 of them and we can actually move down through them and see what it found. Some on this page and some obviously on the next page. That's it. We are done. We have trained Taskmaster APT on how to extract data from a Stuart invoice. I'm going to click on the next invoice button and there's no more invoices or problems and I'm done. Okay. We are now at the step where we can export the data. I have a window open into SharePoint and I'm at my home page. I'm going to navigate to the document center and notice I have a number of different folders in my site hierarchy one of which is APTSP. It says APT SharePoint folder created for the purposes of this demo. It's got in it four different entries for vendors such as security archives and tech systems. And what I'm going to do now is complete the last task, which is to export. And we begin this export task. And export will do a couple things for us. It's going to create PDF versions of the invoices. It's going to create an XML file, a tagged XML file, that contains with it all the different uh, names of the fields and the values for those fields. And it's actually going to export that information over to SharePoint. Let's go into SharePoint now and refresh our screen. Notice now we have a number of new invoice entries in SharePoint. We've added our Stinger Wellhead, Plunger Lift Systems, Business Stuff, JWS, and Stuart. The invoices are available as PDF files, and I can click on any of these little, the, the paper icon here, and bring up the view of the PDF file. And the invoice data is available as different fields in our table for APTSP, such as the vendor number, the vendor name, invoice number, invoice date, invoice total, PO number. Any information on the invoice can be exported as an index or as data to SharePoint. Let's go back to our input Windows Explorer and just look at one other thing and that's an XML file that we created. And this XML file contains, as I mentioned, all the invoices, the location for the physical invoice in this folder here, which is configurable, the vendor, the vendor number, the invoice number, the invoice date, all the different fields in the header, and then again all the line item details. Okay. Alright, so that was our demonstration of Taskmaster APT. We began it by performing a scan operation and bringing in five different invoices. We then processed those invoices through our rule runner background task which did things like clean them up and perform OCR and create our fingerprints. We then verified them by displaying them and exported them to SharePoint and saw that they appeared in SharePoint. That concludes our demonstration but I have a couple things I want to mention. A couple of differentiators which are very important. Competitors use location rules to find header information. Taskmaster APT uses a fingerprint technology. But when you use location rules, full page OCR must be performed in every page every time the invoice is processed. OCR has to find those labels. So if there's any errors in, in identifying the labels, you clearly can't identify the fields that are associated with those labels. All of this results in no advantage to have seen an invoice previously. Some of our competitors also require that pre-production templates be built 
for extraction of the line item details. And obviously this takes more time and is more costly and the services rise proportionally to the number of vendors. Taskmaster APT uses our fingerprint technology to identify invoices and find information. Our proprietary fingerprint technology is based on using the geometry of the light and the dark areas of an invoice in order to identify the invoice. It is much like if you took a series of home invoices such as for a water company bill, an electric company bill, a credit card bill, and laid them out on your table. Now if you're like I am and you wear glasses and you take off your glasses, they will appear a little blurry, but I know what they are. Taskmaster uses the same type of technique for creating its fingerprints. It analyzes the geometry of the light and the dark area for part of the invoice, because you don't really have to do it for the whole invoice, just the portion at the top is enough, and then stores that away in a the library. Then as new invoices are processed, compares their fingerprints against the fingerprints in the library. If a match is found, there's other information that's stored with the fingerprint that identifies the fields that need to be extracted and the locations. So with fingerprint technology, we are not dependent upon finding the labels and we're not dependent upon a high degree of OCR accuracy. That concludes our demonstration of Taskmaster APT. Thank you for taking the time to view it. Goodbye.